Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Askins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2. Uh, last time, I told you that I would save the ice wood so we could go and sell it off, and that's what I'm going to do. So, um, I'm sitting up a little bit high in my chair because I have new, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, hydraulic that I used um, to um, fix my sinking chair problem, and it sits up a little bit higher than the last one does. But it is adjustable, so like I've got a lot of room. It's very cool. What is that? Did we did we build that? That's ice. Hmm. I don't know that I meant to build that, but that's fine. Uh, by the way, I did get your comment about getting ice wood much quicker. You have to throw it down a different direction. I didn't see the rest of the comment of like which way to throw it down, but I did see your comment. So if you were the one that commented that, thank you. Oh, and if this is your first time inside uh, Roblox, or if it's your first time watching my channel, um, oh gosh, hold on. Do this. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. And I've got big announcements. So I got a uh, message from my um, representative, my representative from uh, PAX. And he asked if I wanted to be inside the Stream Stars 2022 uh, PAX East. And I shot back a note immediately. I'm like, yes, I want to be in. And apparently the game is going to be Fall Guys. And I'm going to be competing against eight different streamers. And we have a chance at $5,000. Not bad. Not bad at all. So hopefully that will... Uh, go to my advantage and I, I will be practicing on live streams at nighttime so tonight uh, before I go and record my next video I will be doing a live stream to try and get some practice in so if you've got fall guys come and join me in live stream um, last night no offense last night was a little disappointing I have 20 people that showed up to live stream and if you're watching this right now and you're not subscribed and stuff like that, oh my gosh, guys, why don't you have the notification bell turned on? Because the number is blowing. Oh, that's probably true. But still, this is this is my zen. This is where I come to relax and hang out and chill and get my ideas. Which is one of the main reasons I record, is to share those ideas and those thoughts with you guys. And it's no longer about plain lumber, it's more about that that transfer of knowledge, that that feeling of a talk show, you know, or a a good therapy session. <laughs> it's not therapy. I'm I'm not qualified to give any kind of therapy. I'd probably be the worst therapist ever, just saying. But how much did we say the next piece of land was going to be uh, like 36,000 hold on let's go let's go look because I might be way off hey buddy hi Reuven so you want to buy some land eh yes I do all right land yes want to expand 39,000 so yes we can purchase some we're at right there, right there, right there. Yeah, let's purchase that. 39,000, that's a lot of money. See, and I feel like, ice wood is the most expensive wood, right? How much is in times? Let me, let me go look real quick at the wiki. The fandom, if you will. Uh, lumber. Wiki. Oh, I guess I, I do need to spell out Tycoon 2, don't I? Lumber Tycoon 2 Wiki. There we go. That's where I need to go. And let's go to the categories of wood. More. And we're looking for end times. <sighs> Elm, walnut, cherry, snow glow, pink, oak, birch, test fur. Pine, volcano, zombie, cave crawler, gold, frostwood, nope, spooky, sinister, sign, 
and Phantom. So they're calling it Phantom Wood. In, in Times Wood. And how much does that go for? Uh, 420 monies per plank. So I think... Oh, wait. I can't go and get it because I don't have any eyeballs and this is the solo base. Dang it. Well, shoot. The sign sells for 170 Sinister Spook Frost. So Frost is the highest one that I can get at this particular point in time because Spook and Sinister you can only get during October. Sign you can only get one time whenever you buy your base. Now, technically I could open up a second thing. Nope, I wouldn't be able to do it unless I had an alt. And that's, that's not what we're going for. Basically what you could do is you could purchase a piece of land no, because it still it would cost a hundred money to purchase a piece of land, and then you would be selling the sign off for one hundred and seventy. So technically, you'd only get seventy. So it'd be the equivalent of getting goldwood twice, two two units, two point five units. So frostwood it is. We're going to head over to the frostwood, and I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm, I'm serious. I'm sincere about that. I want you guys to have a good day. Um, that doesn't mean I want you to be happy, okay? Because happiness is a state of emotion, just like, just like sadness, okay? And it's okay to be happy and sad. They're perfectly normal, everyday human interactions. That was a really high jump. Did you guys see that? Wow. Kind of cool. Now wait, 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 wait. Here's the one thing that I don't get. It is faster to get lava wood, right? It is faster to get lava wood. Hmm. Let's just go get lava wood instead. Because we, we can always get a lot more lava wood and not waste an explosive. And it's always more funded, like, that little we could possibly die kind of thing. Just because. It's fun. So, we're. How far through winter are we? Hey, Google. How long until spring? Spring in the northern hemisphere is in 34 days. So, 34 days, and we are hitting spring. That means no more winter time. The sun's gonna start coming out, or it's gonna start getting warmer. But I mean, it's still 34 days. That's that's over a little over a month away. So you know, don't get too excited yet. But that means summer vacations right around the corner. Some of you might call it uh, holiday, summer holiday, transition years, whatever, whatever the case may be. But it's soon. That means planting season's right around the corner. For all you agricultural kids. Oh gosh, and farmers. It's about that time for your harvest season to start. For your, your planting season to start. Oh man. How many of you got like a, a lot of snow this, uh, this winter? I know like what was it last week? We had a pretty pretty good snowstorm. <clears throat> it just amazing amazes me how many people are still they still freak out when they're like, "Oh, we need to run to the store and get milk and bread because there's there's going to be a storm coming." I'm like, yeah, maybe the '90s. Like, we have delivery now. <laughs> <clears throat> They have Walmart pickup. <laughs> you don't even, don't even have to go into the store anymore. Just order it online and then go have them put it in the back of your truck. You know, that's the simplest thing to do. I just, I'm amazed at how easy life has become in 2022. Like a lot of people struggle with technology and with advancements and stuff like that. 
I'm not one of those people. I hope to never be one of those people, but I can imagine when I get into my 80s, there's going to be technologies that I'm just not going to understand. I mean, programming nowadays is a lot more advanced than I was ever doing back in high school or in college. And we have a lot more APIs and plugins. And I actually struggle with Git, Git technology. Uh, if you guys know what that is, it's Git um, repositories. And it's basically just a software assurance thing. It's version controls. I'm looking at the posters on my wall. Oh, for those of you that don't know, I've got a ton of Nintendo Power posters. Nintendo Entertainment System. It goes with the gaming room theme. Oh, and uh, my dad was asking me to play stuff like Frogger and Pac-Man, like some of the original Atari games. I'm like, dude, I've got an entire pixel list that you need to go watch. And if you haven't seen it, the pixel list, go check it out. It's all the games from uh, the movie Pixel. Would it be easier for me to just chuck all these down one at a time? I think I've done this before, haven't I? I don't know if it'll be quicker, but... Rolling these things. Oh gosh, wrong direction. Yeah, these, these don't fling quite as well as oak trees. Oak trees, they've got a lot of, a lot of branches. Kind of wish we could just grab this whole thing at one time without exploits. I know half of you were thinking that, like, oh, God, dude, we got the script. We could just run it. No, no. Do it the old school way. Do it the right way. Do it the way I taught you. There we go. Put that down. That's not going to work, is it? Okay. Maybe we do need to chop this up a little bit. I wonder... I wonder if the stacking technique that I used to do still works. If you guys don't know, there, there's this way that you can stack these things so that they're all inside the truck and then like three layers up. I don't know if that still works. Oh gosh. Well, that worked. Okay. Let's see if we can get these little ones in. There we go. Always got to make sure that the little branches on the bottom, that way they're not touching. And if you have some medium branches, you can throw those in there as well. Uh, did I throw that other piece down already? Dang it, I did. Oh, there's another one like halfway down the mountain. It'll be halfway down the mountain when he comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Was it the six white horses? Something like that. Driving six white horses when she comes. It's an old folk, folk song. From the Americas. I think I, I was taking American history. Or maybe it was civics. Civics class. Ugh. By the way, I, I don't like civics classes. Nasty. Nasty courses. No offense to the civics teachers. I just was not interested in memorizing dates and times. But they are important courses. So I, I won't I won't diss them too bad. Oh, come on. Come on. Get out of there. Let's go. Come on, let's go. I wonder. Wow. Okay. How am I going to do this? Come here. Come here, you. 
No. There we go. I wonder. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, wow, wow. Nope, it's too top heavy. Oh, that was a bad cut. Bad cut code. Um, you know what? We might be able to save it. Who knows? A fire axe would be so handy right now. Just saying. Okay. Choppy chop chop. Let's go. That's a bad cut too. Man, just doing horrible today. That's okay. It'll fit. It'll fit. Oh, oh. Nice. That'll that'll create like a little wedge for us to stack against. Is it flipping? It flipped, kind of. Oh. So I have an article that I have to write for um, PC Magazine, and I'm only a little bit the way through it right now. But basically the idea of the article is an all-encompassing article to kind of bring all my other PC Magazine articles together. And it's based, it's called Roblox 101, everything you need to know about Roblox. And I'm thinking, that's a lot to cover. That is a lot to cover in a short time. And uh, it's due by Wednesday. Of course, the editor, Jeff, huge shout out to you, buddy. Thank you so much for the opportunity and thank you for your patience as well. He said that, um, the article's going to be vague, but it covers everything. So, he gave me an example article to go off of, which was uh, Windows 10, everything, or Windows 11, everything that you need to know. And I, I'm kind of using that as my template to write everything else out. And so far, it's very nice. I like it. But, concentration is not my best suit, especially, uh, when it comes to writing and languages. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. Okay, arithmetic, not really. And why do they used to call it the, th the three R's? Reading, writing, arithmetic. Arithmetic starts with an A there, guy. That's not how you do that. Hi, <clears throat> right, thanks for calling the help desk. How can I help you? And what'd you say your name was? Pat. Pat. Is that is that correct? Can you spell that for me? P as in pneumonia. <laughs> A as in aisle. Got it. Got it. And T as in tsunami. Got it. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean you missed that? <laughs> oh no, is it? Okay. I thought it was on this first one. It's not. It's on this next one. But we're going to have to stack it. Here, we'll go down to this little... Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting crazy. Going wild. Lift up, drop down. Lift up, drop down. Oh, too far. Lift up. Come on, come on. Drop down. Good. Lift up, drop, down. I think I should go and uh, do some more Fortnite videos. What do you guys think? I mean, I've tried doing other videos and nobody's watching them. You guys are only watching this stuff. You're only watching the lumber videos and I don't know why. A lot of you are, you'll comment and go, No, Code, we'll watch anything you want. My analytics say different. My analytics tell me that 79% of you are not subscribed and like 14% are actually through the click-through, 9% are from a Google search, 
and like one percent from somewhere else. So I don't know. Maybe the channel's dying. And you know what happens, right? Like once every four or five months, I get to this phase where I'm like, oh man, I don't even feel like making a thumbnail. Like even even now, I'm thinking, I'm dreading making the thumbnail for this video because I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, I have fun whenever I do it, and I love making the uh, the freaky faces with the warp tool. That's fun. And I thought it gave my videos a little bit of pizzazz. But, oh well. Happens. <sighs> Happens to the best of us where we kind of get burnt out. And I don't think I'm burnt out. I think I'm just... I'm tired of trying for other videos and people not watching them. Because I put a lot of effort into the other videos. I put a lot of effort into, like, getting that stream set up tonight and hardly anybody showed up it's just like ah oh, demotivating but at the same time i haven't live streamed in quite some time you know i haven't been doing live streams and the other thing is i don't play fall guys and it's a weekday and a lot of my audience are kids the only time kids could play would be sometime in the middle of the day or I guess it'd be like right after school, but before sports and stuff happen. Now some sports happen right after. So I'm trying to figure out what time I should actually stream. What's what's the sweet spot for the United States for the most engagement? I can't think of it. If I were honest with myself, it would probably be right before or after dinner time, because that's when you get the notification and you'd be wanting to play video games anyway, and I would be on stream playing video games with you. But then it comes into question like what game to play? Because if it's just lumber, I mean, that kind of makes it pointless. Whoa, 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 whoa. So. <sighs> There's always a catch. And the other thing is I wouldn't be able to play until after I got off work. So it would definitely have to be, whoa, after a work time frame, you know? Couldn't be playing in the middle of work. And my boss follows me on Twitter, so he gets the same notifications. And if I go live... While I'm at work, he's gonna get the notification. And be like, "Heat, <laughs> yes, sir. What are you doing? Playing games? Are you supposed to be playing games while you're at work? No." <laughs> Which is also kind of funny because it is kind of an inside joke that my boss comes up to me all the time. He's like, "Yeah, you probably staying up late playing video games and." doing the YouTube thing I I wish I had that much time I really do but I, I don't have as much time as people think <clears throat> now the other day whenever I posted four videos I just happened to be in a a nice little lull and I did 14 like I, I don't know I got motivation from somewhere and I just rocked out some some uh, videos I think I did one lumber one fake lumber, one dragon blade, and then there was something else I played. But that felt really good, by the way, to, to be able to do that. Oh gosh. You know what? We'll hit all these one time with our axe, just so it kind of resets the timer on them. And hopefully we can get all these down there one piece without exploding. <laughs> Knew that was going to happen. Oh gosh. I hate that I actually have to slow down the vehicle just so it doesn't lose all the wood. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay. 
All right. Um, let's do this. I'm just gonna respawn my truck. Oh wait, can I? Does it cost 800 or 300? I think it's only 300. <gasps> I might not be able to spawn it. I've only got 443 on me. What do we think? What do we think? What do you think? Please. 380. Nice. Ooh, it's a jet black one. I like these trucks. Whee. So now we have our nice little stack of uh, lava wood ready to go. Firewood. It's all firewood. I mean, you could technically throw all of this in the fire and it would still work. I wonder how ice wood works. <laughs> when you put ice wood into the fireplace, does it extinguish the fire? There's my ADHD brain going off again. Code, why are you thinking about ice wood and fires and stuff? Well, you know, if it's a chilly winter afternoon or something like that and you're trying to keep your house warm and you put ice wood in the fireplace, does it cool the place off? Just saying. Does it burn colder? Okay, now you're just being silly code. I know. I'm sorry. It's fine. Mm. Oh, I think I mentioned the PAX thing, and if I didn't, be sure to sign up for your badges early, because they do sell out pretty fast. If you, uh, if you are going, and if you're in the area, it's going to be in Boston, Massachusetts. Boston area. Okay? So go get yourself signed up. Have fun. What do we have this set on? Is it max? Yeah, we're on max. So... Come on. Uh oh. Nope. Come on. There it goes. Oh man, this is gonna be easy. Oh that one that one's not gonna go. That one we need to glitch in. Nice. That one's too long. So, go ahead and chop that in two. Send it through. Oh gosh, 27 minutes. So, I can only plank out for like, what, three more minutes? Oh, 28 minutes. So, two more minutes of me planking the wood. And then, uh, just like last time, I'll finish it off camera. That way you guys don't get bored with the rest of this. And then, I know that sounds so cheap. It's like, code that's what they do in in minecraft they tell us that they're they're gonna do the rest off film and then all of a sudden they come back and they've got 999 gold or blah 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 i know i know that's not gonna happen here okay i'm just gonna plank it out and i'll leave it on the base so we can go and sell it sell it together oh thank you guys for uh the ones who did join, I'm still looking at the the live stream chat that was that was on. This is not live stream. I'm the one that I did earlier, and for the people that did show up, lots of participation. That was that was good. That was really good. I liked it. Man, this is going much quicker. That's going to be too long, isn't it? Nope. Just right. Just right. Is that going to be too long? Probably too long. Too long? Too long. All right, let's put that off to the side for a second. This one too long? Come on, come on. Yeah, that's too long. Dang it. There we go. That one's not too long. Nice short piece. Now some of you may be asking, Code, how, how are you doing that? It's a glitch. And it's a, it's a very well-known glitch. And one that... I think is underutilized. 
or wood chopping. I wish I'd known this back whenever uh, I had first done the golden wood. That would have been so much helpful. So much more helpful. Uh oh, get up there. Whoa, did you guys see that? That was crazy. Alright, come on. Get the lead out. There we go. Anybody say that anymore? Is, it, is that still a term? No? Just me? And even for me, that's not really my term. It's like an older person's terms. That's weird. It's like jumping up in place, but it's too long. This one's not too long. Let's go. There it goes. Oh, come on. That one's too long. <laughs> I love how you can see like where it's supposed to be at and how it jumps up into the track. It's kind of cool. All right, I think that's it for the night. Ugh. What happened to my mouth? No. Where's my mouth? Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins. Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of videos like a good YouTuber does. And the question of the day is, what time did you watch this video? Were you at lunch? Were you sleeping? Were you... Were you uh, getting up for the day? At what point did you watch? Leave your comments and your answers down below. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro.